welcome to Trainzilla's. In this session we're going to have a talk about adding passenger cars and freight cars to train controller and making train sets. So in train controller I have my basic demo version here. I've got two engines pre-configured down the bottom here so we need to go into edit mode with our um, spanner and hammer in orange we need to go to train menu train sets create car that gives us our first default car at the moment because I want to create three cars we're going to do it three times and we'll go back and edit each one now we'll pick on the first car down here in the trains window double click we can change our picture so for this one we want to create a coal hopper, an RD4 coal hopper. So I'll go into Cars, Coal Hopper, and I'll choose RD4, this one here. OK. And then we'll call this RD4 Coal Hopper 1. Oops, designation is Freight, which I'll get to later as to why that's important length so this particular car is 22 centimeters tonnage so this particular car full is 180 tons and empty is 60 tons speed restriction at this point in time we're going to not add a speed restriction this is ideally used when you want a particular train to have a maximum speed as soon as you apply a car with a speed restriction to any train the speed here determines the maximum speed that entire train can run at regardless of what your block speeds are set at so if you want to create a test car for testing a train on the track for the first time create one with say a speed limit of 20 kilometers an hour give it an appropriate name like you know, speed restricted test car and then attach that to your loco and run your loco around the track and it will only ever go as fast as 20 kilometers an hour but for now this car has no decoder, so we have no connections and no functions, so we're done. And down the bottom here, we can see now the image is updated to RD4, as has our name. Now we'll create the second one by double clicking. Again, browse. Again, go into my YRA files, my cars, and down the bottom here, I have two boxcars set up in a single image. So I can go open. Now this is ideal for creating train sets. If you have a train that you are doing shunting or switching, has multiple cars on it, you can create multiple car sets, attach multiple car sets, and rather than having to have a hundred cars pre-configured in train trying to be adding and removing them, you can create one car set. So in this case, box car set. It's going to be five cars long. It's freight. So we're now going to add the length of our five car set which is 120 centimeters we're going to add our full weight of 750 tons our empty weight of 400 tons and again I'm not going to add any speed restriction connection there's no connections there's no functions so again our car set is done now lastly as we have a passenger train we need a passenger car so into our passenger cars and here we'll just choose a um, coach coach car of Amtrak so we'll name it appropriately and now this time it's going to be of the passenger designation this is used when you have schedules or you have blocks that restrict particular car types so if you set this block down here south down 2 to car type passenger only that means only passenger cars can pass through this block no freight can the freight would have to go around so if that's your station that's why this designator is important we'll apply our length 35 centimeters our full tons and our empty tons and we're not going to have a speed restriction this car does have a lighting kit but it's not Dakota controlled so we have no Dakota to set and no functions to set so again 
we're done. So now we have our loco which we've configured at additional times, the passenger train and our freight, and we have a passenger car and two freight cars. So let's place them on the track. So if we grab our loco and we place him here, we need to go into, or out of edit mode I should say. We now click on our loco, we right click, train, train set, change train set. And we can now add to our train set our box cars and our RD4. And we'll give it a name of Jeep General Freight. Click close because we are done. We can see down here that it's updated to General Freight and it's updated to a train set. If you now hold your mouse over it, it will tell you the total length, the total tonnage of this train and its maximum possible speed. So 70 kilometers an hour is its maximum speed with a total length of 172 centimeters and 1170 tons. Now we'll do the same for our passenger train. As always in train control, there's multiple ways to do something. I could have clicked on the block and used this icon up here to assign a train. Train set. Change train set. Add out coach. So if for some reason it added in the wrong order, say the loco was behind, you just select what you want and use up and down arrows to move the order around. You could we could have put two logos on here if I had them pre-configured. Give it a name. And there it is, it's that easy. So now our trains are ready to roll. They are of the type train set and we could now set them moving. So I've got no schedule set up in this particular instance, so we'll just get them to go spontaneous run. And they will now, once I start my simulator, you see the speeds come up on both of them to their maximum speed, and they will now start moving around the layout. You can see here we've got double red because he can't move on, the passenger train's in the way. Now, if we were doing switching with this train here, we could now right click on it, train, train set, change train set, and we could drop off our RD4. So we can go remove, and so now we're just left with our uh, box car set on our train, and our RD4 is now free in the list. So now we can move our train on. As soon as he can go, he's free to move. What will happen is the train will move, but train controller doesn't know that the RD4 is still sitting in this block. So you have to come back and manually drop it in because we don't have a schedule running. If we had a, a schedule where we split the train in this block, the schedule would show that the RD4 was still sitting there. But we don't have that, so we'll come back and we'll add it manually. And we'll just tell train controller that our RD4 is in that block. And now our train will work around that block having something in it. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.